Have you ever wondered how a single thought can rattle your entire body or how a certain smell can trigger a cascade of memories? This is the marvelous work of neurons, the building blocks of our nervous system, transmitting information throughout our body. But what happens when these neurons encounter inflammation, a process known as neuroinflammation, which often results from infections or injuries? Understanding this intricate dance between neurons and neuroinflammation is no mere academic exercise. It's all about the intricate dance between neurons and neuroinflammation, a dance that affects our everyday lives. To understand the impacts of neuroinflammation, we first need to understand the stars of our show, the neurons. These are specialized cells designed to transmit information throughout the body. It's their job to take in information, process it, and then send it off to where it needs to go. They do this through a combination of electrical and chemical signals, much like a super-fast postal service delivering messages. These tiny cells, with their complex architecture, are the foundation of our thoughts, memories, and actions. Now, imagine a foreign invader attacking these vital cells. Our body's response? Inflammation. Neuroinflammation, to be exact. This is our body's immune response to defend our brain. It's a process where our immune cells rush to the neural tissue, causing inflammation. This can be triggered by a variety of factors, including infections, injuries, or even toxic substances. While it's a protective mechanism, if it gets out of hand, it can lead to tissue damage and various neurological disorders. Neuroinflammation, a protective response that can sometimes turn against us. So, how does this inflammation affect our neurons? and consequently, our brain and cognitive health. Well, when the neural tissue inflames, it sends out distress signals, which are picked up by nearby neurons. This can alter the normal function of these neurons, disrupting the flow of information across the nervous system. In some cases, this disruption can lead to mood disorders, cognitive decline, and even neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. However, it's not all doom and gloom. Our body's response to inflammation isn't always negative. In fact, neuroinflammation can sometimes be protective, helping to clear out harmful substances and damaged cells, thereby promoting healing and recovery. The interaction between neurons and neuroinflammation is a delicate balance, a dance, if you will. It's a dance that can either lead to harm or healing, depending on a multitude of factors, including the severity and duration of inflammation. As we delve deeper into the world of neurons and neuroinflammation, we realize the immense potential that lies in understanding this complex relationship.